Hey, welcome back to our part three of the 2017 World Championship deck openings. Now we're going to be doing Zachary Bokari. Um, his deck name was Ice Path FTW for the win. Um, he was the senior champion and is from the U.S. Zachary earned his World Championship title in the senior division with a water type deck featuring Alolan Ninetales GX assisted by Aquapatch to power it up and Rough Seas to heal the whole team. The star Pokemon brings some nice versatility with three attacks that do different things. Ice Blade can snipe the opponent's bench, Blizzard Edge packs an immensely powerful punch and Ice Path GX can be a huge swing, moving all damage counters from Alolan Ninetales GX to its opponent. Kind of cool, so let's look inside and see. Alright. I'm not going to spend too long with the booklet. Just going to look to see a picture of this guy, of Zachary. Um, so this was the finals bracket here for the seniors where he won. He beat Michael Long. Um... If I am not mistaken, yeah, Michael Long is a fellow Canadian, um, so we beat out for it, um, but he, uh, that's a picture of him there, Zachary came close to missing the Worlds twice, he had to resolve a conflict with soccer tryouts, and then his inbound flight was delayed several hours, and he didn't even get to Anaheim until very late the night before but he's certainly comfortable with last second approach. I usually do not have my deck chosen for tournaments until the morning of the tournament. I test at night within the week before the events usually. This play style obviously doesn't work for everyone, but considering Zachary has nine big event finishes in the top four or better since 2012, we think he's got it figured out. That's kind of cool. Um, so, let's take a look at what cards he had up front. Uh, oh, wow. So, seems like all the decks they chose ran the promo Tapu Koko, which we've spoke about in past videos. The one from the Tapu Koko uh, figure collection that came out last year. And then the Alolan Ninetales, uh, which he seemed to build his deck around. Uh, and then not to forget the Pikachu Anaheim pin as well. Uh, let's take a look at what he has. So Bridget was a very popular card. Um, Professor Kukui. Uh, more Professors. Sycamores. Two, three, a full playset of Sycamores. We have a second Ninetales. One. Three and a third. Rough Seas, like the description was mentioning, for healing his water type Pokemon. Ultra Balls, guessing a full playset. Yep. Um, then VS Seekers. Two, three. Oh, not a full playset. Aqua Patch, which is great for your water type decks. So you ran two, three, a full playset of those guys. Double Colorless. Always popular. Um, and then a whack of water energy yep, to finish it off. Let's take a look at his deck box. Nice bluish, greenish, bluish water theme. Um, which is kind of cool. And let's see what else he had inside. Oh, so the Wudo again. This is another promo, XY184. So this came out with a blister pack last year that was also really, um, really popular. So it's interesting to see it in the World Championship as well in one of the winning decks. Um, Alolan Vulpix. Need that for Ninetales. Two, three, a full play set of those guys. Octillery from Breakthrough, another very popular card because of its Abyssal Hand. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may draw cards until you have five in your hand. So we had two of those, and then Remoraid, which is its basic. Tapu Lele seemed to be a staple for just about everyone there, for a couple at least. Choice Band also, as we've seen that in every single deck as well. Field Blower, and then Floatstone. 
and Guzma as well, which we've also seen in every deck, along with N. It's amazing how similar all of these decks are. Oh, Karen, that's not one we've seen in any of the last couple of videos. So this is another uh, promo that came out um, towards the end of last year. I think it was in one of the Bahlarina decks. Um, and each player shuffles all Pokemon in his or her discard pile into his or her deck. And then we have some Generations Pokemon, Center Lady, and the code card to unlock the card back in the game. So, very cool. Um, we just have one more deck left to go. And then we will wrap up our World Championship Series. I think this is the third or fourth year now I'm doing all of these openings. Always cool to see what the best players in the world have been using to win their tournaments. Anyway, I'll see you guys with the fourth and last video, which is upcoming here shortly.